If you know anything about Nakadacts, you probably know they all come in different shapes and sizes. But what if you cannot find the size you need, or the material you need? Let's make one. That's a good one! Yeah. Alright, let's talk Nakadacts. What are they? A Nakadact is a clever, um, cleverly, cle cleverly designed gizmo uh, to disrupt airflow in your favor. Has a wider opening on one side, narrower opening, thinning on the other side. And when the air goes past it, it gets sucked in inside the widening part. Um, that's probably a very bad explanation, but if you want some technical explanation, I suggest you Google it. I'm not the engineer. But the clever thing about those is that they weigh very little. Well, they weigh, they weigh very, very little, especially if they're made out of plastic and they work incredibly well. Um, I have two on the side of my car, both for airflow for ventilation of the cabin. And actually I have to turn them away from the driver's um, uh, seat because they work too well. And actually my armpits get a bit too cold when uh, driving at speed. But recently, not recently, I, I got sucked into a uh, YouTube wormhole. Wormhole? Black hole? Anyways, one of those. And um, there's a, a racing team, apparently, NASCAR in America. And uh, they found, uh, found, found that if you turn them the other way around, and when airflow goes past them, instead of sucking air in, they actually suck air out. And they say was well, increasing um, increasing power and speed because whenever you can suck air out of the cabin, it does that. Um, I don't really understand their logic, but what I do like is the fact that it will suck air out. As you probably know that on my car I have full flat floor and a splitter, front splitter that goes all the way down. So there is no, there, is, there are no holes, there is no air gap or anything for the hot air from the engine to escape underneath the car. So what I want to do is I want to put a NACA duct right under the, the drive shaft. So basically between the, the engine and the firewall, there is definitely a big enough space there. And I want to put a NACA duct in there. So when the air goes under the car, under the through the flat floor, it will suck hot air from the engine bay out. Obviously, it's going to get really, really hot in there. And I just don't want to go and buy plastic NACA duct and fit it there. So I decided I want something out of metal, aluminium, obviously. I could not find one, could not find one. So why not? Let's make one. So I found this design and what I've done is I've converted it into a little simple template. So we're going to use the same same sheeting that I've used for my flat floor. It's 5251 aluminium, 1.2 mil, very strong but very very light we're gonna cut that shape weld it and we'll see what we end up with hey don't forget to subscribe to my channel click that like button and that bell icon as well so you don't miss anything also if you want to support my channel why not buy one of my hoodies if you would like one message me for details so what we need to do the simplest of ways is because that's the wide, that's the narrow, obviously. We need the air go like this. Well, actually, the other way around. Actually, no. Yeah, correct. So the widening is going to be towards the front of the car. At the top is the underneath of the car. Because it's wider, thinner there. When the air goes, it will suck air out like this. So what I'm thinking, we cut it along this line, like that leaving this one um, untouched, well, attached. And then we bend this out. And what we need to do is on the side, we just make risers like this. Well, not risers, but sides. And then they will be welded on the side like that. And it will give us sort of this shape, quite rectangular, but strong.
think it worked. Well, I managed to weld 1.2 mil alec all the way around without blowing a single hole. Let's see it. I think we kind of succeeded. Obviously it needs a bit of grinding, a bit of uh, polishing, trimming on sides, uh, drilling some holes for attachment, but I reckon it will be good. So yeah, it will be like this and the air will be flowing this way. Basically something like that. It will be attached to the splitter. Alright, I think it's time to do a little test, my favorite smoke test. Let's have a look. So the NACA duct is all attached, riveted to place, and as you can see, it's a reverse location. So the air coming from there, going past it, and in theory, it should be sucking air out. So, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna use my trusted vape thing, fill it up with air, um, with, uh, with, with smoke, and then we're gonna use air gun and blow air from that way, like that, and see what happens. So I think it's safe to say it works. Uh, reverse positioning of the knock attack does work. Um, so all is left. Yeah, fit it all back and find something else to do. <laughs> 